I was like, well, well, this is weird. Anticipation. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. Thank you, ladies, for holding it down while I was gone in Kauai. I'm darker than ever. I know, I'm Everyone's jealous. saying your hair looks like it got longer. <laughs> I, it's because I didn't do it. Didn't put any product in it for six, seven days. So yeah, that'll happen. Go. But I hope everyone is getting ready for the weekend. Yes, yes. it is Friday. Mm -hmm. Raise the roof. Mm -hmm. Trying to log in here because we have some important stories to get to uh, today. That first one um, being all about the controversial viral video. Or excuse me, photo. Have you seen the photo? Let's go ahead and pop it up. It's of a, a little baby. Yeah, uh huh. And is that a piercing in her dimple? You better believe it. So this stay-at-home mom and Dina Vance posted this picture. It was supposed to be satire. It is satire, according to her. That's not how it was taken, though. And uh, do you have the comment up as to what she put on Facebook? So I can look it up real quickly. But basically, she's it's in it's in the yeah. I'm so uh, we're all <laughs> we're all outside yeah, of our scripts. So I thought it was just me. Ashy this morning. Okay, so it goes on to say that oh my gosh, yes, my baby, my right. Uh, I own this baby until she is 18 years old. Here we go. I'm going to read it here. So I got the baby girl's dimple pierced. It looks so cute, right? I just know she's going to love it. She'll thank me when she's older. LOL. If she decides she doesn't like it, she can just take it out. No big deal. I'm the parent. She's my child. I'll do whatever I want. I make all of her decisions until she's 18. She goes on and on and on. And basically her point, because this is a woman who is against piercing for anyone under the age of 18. Mm -hmm. She's against circumcision for mm -hmm. boys. She is all about the right of one's body. And right. so she was trying to say, you know what, no one's listening to me, so I'm gonna have to do something this dramatic. But everyone was assuming that when she posted this picture, she meant everything she said in that comment. Right. Calling Child Protective Services on her, mm -hmm. saying, what are you thinking? Taking an innocent child's face like this and piercing her face. And she was saying, yes, you guys, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted people to talk, mm -hmm. and they did, but instead she got the opposite reaction. Our question today is, how do you feel about piercing? Um, and, and young kids, when is too young to pierce? I know growing up, I got my ears pierced at just a couple months old. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see it as a big deal. Yeah. I think I will do the same thing when I have kids. Uh, is it for pure aesthetic reasons? Sure. I mean, why else are you piercing ears? It's not yeah. because it's good for their health. I mean, I don't see any harm in it, but that's just the way that I was raised. I haven't done any research and I don't have a little innocent baby in front of me to make that decision. I say yeah. that now, but who's to say when I have a child, I'm going to want to you know, stick earrings in her ears. It looks cute, but is it worth it? And, and is that too young at a couple months old? Uh, when I saw this though, I thought, oh my gosh, absolutely not. I would never mm -hmm. pierce my child's face at this age for what reason purely because of aesthetics she is mm -hmm. adorable how she is and that's exactly the point that this mom was trying to make is that well what's the difference between piercing ears and piercing faces it all is taking advantage of a child's um a, a child's body for our reasons so i'll go ahead and let you guys answer that question though when do you think it's too young yeah i think for a lot of people out there you may have cultural religious reasons why you do or do not choose to pierce your body and um i know there are a lot of different groups who would say that this is something that is necessary and some who say we cannot do it um for kids i was an infant when, when i got my ears pierced i still have the little tiny infant studs and it was something clearly i couldn't give my parents permission to do it yeah. um, my mom took me to the local piercing shop i'm sure at the mall and did it and and you see the clairs in the mall everybody doing it still i think i get her point um it, it, point taken i don't necessarily agree i don't think that it's child abuse to sure. to pierce your your child's ears i don't see it that severely um, I agree, though, that she wanted to make a point, and so she did something really drastic, and a lot of people thought that this photo, photo was real. So first, we want to make sure you all know that it's not real. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't see it as child abuse, piercing your daughter's ears, piercing your little boy's ear, if that's something you choose to do. I don't see it. I see it more as a harmless act yeah. than a harmful act, personally. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I agree. Um, Again, piercing has been around since the beginning of time, mm -hmm. uh, culturally, I know in, in certain in, in, in the African uh, diaspora, uh, piercing sometimes was considered a rite, a rite of passage mm -hmm. or a part of becoming a woman or a man. So historically, we've right. always we've always had piercings and some type of body mod modification, whether again it's piercing, uh, tattooing, yeah. anything surrounding that. So the I, the conversation saying. Um, that it's it should be it's against any type of rule or 
or the way we should think and operate, I disagree completely. Mm -hmm. I will say though, in regards to the difference between getting, getting your ears pierced and a face piercing for a child, Ear piercings, they're common. Uh, when you go to school, you'll see most of your peers. Some, well, in some cases, some kids don't get their ears pierced, but you'll see most right. little girls or sometimes little boys with, yeah. with earrings on. Okay, cool. However, when you are the only child with something at a school at a young age, I find that kids, yes, the kids are still pure and they're sometimes more accepting than adults. However, it does start the conversation of differences amongst kids and sometimes certain kids can't handle that and they don't know how to interact. So that can turn into a case of bullying yeah. or questioning the child why they did a certain thing and then then in turn may want may be wanting to do the same thing to themselves and then having to open up that conversation with their parents about why can't I have this, why can't I have that. So in my mind, I'm seeing this and I'm thinking when she turns about seven, of course, yes, this picture isn't real, but right. if it were, if she turned seven and then at school, people are like, why you got that dot on your face? What's this? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it becomes a thing. Right. And that's my concern. Her, the child having to deal with the parent's decision. And one more to reiterate, Eunice and Stacy, I see you talking about the fact that this is not real. And yes, we addressed right. that in the very beginning. We know that this photo was altered and doctored to prove a point for this yeah. mother. And like she said, it was satire, taking the wrong direction. Do I even think the way she went about it it was, was it right or wrong? I mean, these are all just our opinions. But yeah. I think when she did that, I first I thought, wow, she's, she's modifying. She's doing exactly what she said she doesn't want people doing is modifying. So this photo now, and remember this, this pic, this baby didn't ask for this picture to be on the internet. So now when she becomes 18 and she goes, mom, why'd you do that? Why'd you put a fake piercing and, and have it blown up on the internet? This goes to that conversation too. Mm -hmm. Kids don't give consent in the age of social media to have their pictures all over the internet. Yeah. So I don't think it was was cool of her to do this because this child didn't give her permission. So I think she, while I see she was trying to use satire and go about this argument in her own way, it came off as very facetious, like mm. being very sarcastic and, and just, if you have a point, say the point, but don't necessarily use the other side and make it so confusing. And now your child's face with a piercing is plastered on the internet for the rest of her life. That's what bothers yeah. me the most. And that was exactly what she wanted, was to get us talking about it. Will it change your mind? Maybe, maybe not. You know, I think that she wants people to know that she's against piercing. And in her opinion, she thinks that this shouldn't be allowed for young children. Yeah. If she only had a picture of her daughter with her ears pierced, we wouldn't be talking about it. No. So clearly she, she went this drastic and went this far to try to get the conversation started. But weigh in, you guys. Do you think there is an age limit for piercings? And if you've decided not to do that, I see Robert Vegas saying, I don't agree. I didn't do this to my kids. What was the reason for not doing it? And if you do choose to, why do you do it? Um, clearly, these little babies don't tell you that this is what they want at that age. And so from a parent standpoint, let us know why you would choose to or choose not to pierce your children's ears. And, and you, we have okay. a couple of comments. People yeah. are saying the article isn't about piercing. It's about the circumcision aspect. She gets into mm -hmm. that. And so I read she does get it. into that. Yeah. And again, but again, the same conversation can be had around circumcision culturally uh, and right. religiously. Some, mm -hmm. uh, some groups don't agree with it some do so at the end of the day certain things are a decision decisions are made based on your family and, and what you think is is necessarily right and wrong everyone's not going to agree on everything so whether you think your son or your daughter in certain cultures and in, in certain places around the around the world should be circumcised that's not for me to decide mm -hmm. what's best for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Again, in regards to the piercing with the girl, with the daughter on her cheek, and from my perspective, again, when you uh, assign something to a child that they're going to have to walk the world with, then the discussion around that for me is, how is the child going to be able to handle that in regard to their in, in regards to their peers and shouldering whatever comes with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I see, you know, a couple of your comments. Hope Clark says, not my body, not my choice. So that's one way to look at it. If if it's not mine, then I shouldn't be the person to decide one way or the other. Let that person decide. Um, and then also the law doesn't recognize children making legal decisions, enter contracts, etc. That's why parents make decisions for minors, says Susan Stafford. So yeah, it is the parents' right and responsibility to make that decision for yeah. their kid until they're 18. Exactly, and in Ohio, which is where the stay-at-home mom is from and her baby, the law is that kids can get pierced. It's not illegal to pierce your, your child's mm -hmm. ears 
face. If we can scroll up on our script here in the teleprompter, because I did have some clips. We can't get in, we can't access, just to be quite frank with all of you. We can't access the scripts here, but I want to get keep scrolling, because I want to get to the quote. Okay. We're going to go on and on. and yeah, yeah, go ahead and read some of the quotes. I had pasted some of the quotes that she had okay, said. Okay, so one says, no one has the right to alter, modify, or mutilate another human being's body for aesthetic purposes, not even parents. Okay, that was one of her points. That was one. Um, and then also the reaction that parents have when they see this beautiful baby being mutilated, the initial shock, the reaction of anger, I want them to hold on to that. Yeah. And she is a 35-year-old mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Interesting. But yeah, right. the Ohio law says... Most most states and Ohio included allow kids under 18 to get piercings. So nothing was wrong legally. Legally. Yeah. Legally. Yeah. yeah. And I see uh, Terrence saying, I pierced my daughter's ears at six months. Uh, Margarita Ramirez says, I was two weeks old. My girls are three months, no issues. I think I was about three to six months. Yeah. Six months maybe. So. In our culture, in the Latino community, it's very common. Mm -hmm. It's like right away you get it pierced. And I part of the theory is having you know talked to cousins of mine and my parents is that you don't feel the pain you don't remember it so you get it done earlier the better the kid will just grow up with these piercings I <laughs> unfortunately when I got older I loved earrings so much I was used to wear really big earrings in college ripped my earlobes oh Ooh. both earlobes <gasps> so you can actually see the scars if you come up close I don't know Oh, how close front. this is yeah. in the front. Oof. So I had to get this a second, second hole. hole here, and that's what oh. I use as my earrings. I never noticed that. So maybe if I would have waited a little bit, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't have had the piercings yeah. my entire life. But um, that's just a little fun fact about yeah. me. But anyways. fun fact about me, I used to have my Monroe pierced. <gasps> that's right. Mm -hmm. If you come up, you can For see five the. I was a rebel in high school. <laughs> see, but to you, the beginning of facial piercing, what did that mean to you? For me, it was an expression of my creativity, of my artistic side. I wanted to be, at the time, unique and different. I didn't have any friends who had done it. And I wanted to find something that I could call my own. And so I have a few ear piercings. I have my, my nose pierced as well for a long time. And it was kind of just my thing for a little while. And yeah. honestly, it was your choice, though. And you were of yeah, age. And, and yeah. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I didn't care. It was more what I liked and what I wanted. So, but again, that happened later when I was over 18 and I could make those decisions. My mom probably wouldn't have wanted me to do that before then. But right. when I turned right. 18, I was like, I'm doing it. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. That's your decision to make. Yeah. Right. But again, it's, it, it can, this conversation can go in so yeah, many yeah. different directions, especially when you add in the, the circumcision aspect. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see, I can see both sides and how it's a fiery topic for some.